O'Reilly and John Stewart went to George Washington University on Saturday night and had a great debate, fun for everybody, uh, and you can get it for four dollars and ninety-five cents on online and uh, well worth the fun. So uh, let's get started to give you some of the clips from there and break it down for you in terms of the relevance and what President Obama and others might be able to learn from this debate. Here's how John Stewart started. Now, I love that because it makes a serious point, because appearances matter in debates. Of course, there's the famous Kennedy-Nixon debate where Nixon was sweating up a storm. People who heard it on the radio thought that Nixon had won. People who watched it on TV thought that uh, Kennedy had won. So John Stewart's 5'7", Bill O'Reilly's 6'4". He's like, I'm not going to get over, uh, you know, have this guy tower over me. Now, obviously, he's making that point through humor, but it's still a serious point and done brilliantly, as usual, by John Stewart. Here's what happened next. I can see why Obama did badly in the debate. The altitude really is rough up here. <laughs> nice little jab at Al Gore's excuse for uh, President Obama's performance in Denver. And by the way, Vice President Gore meant it was part of the reason why he might have been tired. Not why he lost the debate. But anyway, it, you know, is a n nice moment by uh, John Stewart, obviously, shows that he can make fun of anybody. And uh, there isn't a lot of zingers here by Bill O'Reilly. i got to keep it real with you. But you can watch it for yourself at therumble2012.com. Here's what happened next. My friend Bill O'Reilly <laughs> is completely full of <laughs> I have come here tonight to plead to the mayor of Bullshit Mountain. <laughs> Talk to your people. Now, how awesome would it be if Democrats actually did that in a debate? Now, I know it's uncivil, they're never going to do it, etc. But in all seriousness, how great would it be if Democrats were so much more confrontational during debates and didn't let them get away with all of that bullshit? So there's a lot that they could learn from this. I hope President Obama was watching Saturday night. You know what? He could still get it online at the rumble2012.com. It might help him. All right, now what happened next? Bye. Come give, on. give me my money back, the $800 billion for the Iraq War and Children's Television is on the House. But here's what I understand. Why don't Democrats actually make that point? The Iraq War cost at least $800 billion. You're talking about Big Bird? We're talking about Big Bird. We're talking about Elmo? Your war that was a disaster cost us $800 billion at a bare minimum. You know PBS gets $22 million a year? That's it. $800 billion versus $22 million. That's a great point by John Stewart. And I don't know why Democrats can't make it. I swear I hope that they were taking notes. Here's next. When you need something, it's an entitlement. When they need something, Hey man, it just is what it is. Why is it that if you take advantage of a tax break and you're a corporation, you're a smart businessman, but if you take advantage of something that you need to not be hungry, you're a moocher. I love this. I know he's not gonna run for office, but you know what would happen? People would actually get excited. They'd be like, wait a minute, that's such a good point. When they needed $7.7 .7 trillion of free money from the Federal Reserve, the bankers did, and $700 billion from the Treasury, well, they just needed it. It is what it is. You need a ham sandwich. They're like, oh, you goddamn moocher. Now, it's done through humor, but it's so true. Now, I must confess, we're not being overly f fair to Bill O'Reilly. We're not presenting any of his wise or funny clips because there weren't any. You could watch it yourself and make that decision for yourself. But John Stewart continues to kick his ass. If you could see any American elected president, who would you choose and why? Well, I'd say any Clint Eastwood. Eastwood would have to be my guy. <laughs> well, why don't we ask him? <laughs> What's O'Reilly going to do? You know, you got to give O'Reilly credit for at least stepping into that ring. 
<laughs> because he's getting beat up pretty bad. And how are you going to compete with a comedian? I, I, at one point I felt like I wanted to be my dad and tell Bill O'Reilly, as my dad has literally said to me, why are you not as funny as Jon Stewart? <laughs> Speaking of which, it continues. <laughs> If you think Christmas isn't celebrated in this country as Christmas, walk a mile in Hanukkah shoes, brother, because <laughs> you have no idea. And then walk a mile in Ramadan shoes. <laughs> Good luck and see how that turns out for you. And finally, uh, they were asked who they would rescue in a national emergency. This is fun. I would save Oprah. She's worth about $100 billion. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you save? Uh, my family. Yeah. <laughs> now, to be fair, I believe she had asked which celebrity would you save. Okay, so John Stewart's being a little unfair there, but it does go to priorities again. <laughs> Bill O'Reilly's like, I'd save Oprah a hundred billion dollars. That's a lot of money. <laughs> and then Stewart does the singer. How awesome would it be if Democrats actually took notes on this? They're like, what? Rumble twenty? The Rumble twenty twelve? Hold on, let me see. Let me get that again, John. Rewind, rewind, let me get that again. God, he kicked his ass. I wish real life was like that. <laughs>